Hey, what's up everybody? Friday, TGIF. Okay, so some major developments have emerged in the oil market. As you know, uh, if you have been following me, and certainly my subscribers know that we have been long the oil market for quite some time. Um, and we uh, recently took profits. We took profits on our uh, oil positions and oil stocks and did very, very well uh, on those positions. Some new developments have emerged uh, with regard to the fundamentals. Uh, everyone who receives my emails and my MMT Trader Report, they have been made aware of that and we are monitoring the oil situation. I will tell you that the fundamentals based on the last EIA report, and I know that many of you, you look at one little thing you look at the inventories of crude and maybe some of you who think you're a little bit smarter, you might look at the inventories of gasoline or distillates, the change in inventories, and then you jump in there and you trade. And that for us, people who subscribe to my service, um, they know that, I mean, they're happy when you do that because basically you end up handing us your money. You hand us your money. As I have said many times, there is a tremendous amount of information in that report. It's not just about uh, the stocks of oil and, and distillates and, and gasoline and other refined products, but it's about demand, it's about imports, it's about exports, it's about production. I mean, that is a big, big report. And you have to know how to synthesize all that information to come up with a, a cogent outlook about the oil market, which I do every week, all right? So new information has emerged, which we are monitoring, which I am monitoring. And uh, right now, it just gives me sort of a different impression of uh, the nature of the oil market. So if you want that, if you want those emails, if you want an update on that, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. You know what's happening? I've been getting people coming to me now. They obviously have been following me either on these videos or, or maybe, I don't know, just uh, maybe they were following me when I was uh, contributing to real money at the street.com and they say, hey, I was going to subscribe to your report, you know, a year ago when it was $100 or $75 and now it's $145, right? That's what happens. It's a valuable report. The price has been raised. And every time you wait, every time you hesitate, it's going to go up. I got guys in here who were smart, who picked it up at $75 when I first came out with it. Their rate is never going to change. Just like the people who have it at 100 their rate is never going to change, or even 125 And maybe those people who subscribed at 125 maybe thought they thought they were paying up. But now look. They're happy because it's 145 and maybe it'll go up beyond that. Uh, I envision it going up beyond that because the demand is strong for the report. And as one guy said to me just today, I mean, I get these every day, you know, your stuff is really, really valuable. It far exceeds anything out there in, in the, you know, available information. So there you have it. So it can only go up. That's point number two. Point number three the dollar is going down after a one day um, surprisingly very small and brief blip when Donald Trump came out to kind of reverse comments made by his own Treasury Secretary the previous day who said that basically said that, you know, the administration wanted a lower dollar. Trump comes out and says the dollar is just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So you know, here's another example of all of you giving us your money, because the, the day that everybody sold, which was the day before yesterday, when Mnuchin made that comment, the same people yesterday were buying it back at a loss. We were selling into that rally, okay? Remember last week I said that I, I doubled my Forex account in the last three months. I actually had a, a guy here, a subscriber, and I'm sure there's one, but there was one who actually sent me an email saying, Mike, I got you beat. I doubled my uh, account in two and a half months. That was a new guy, a new guy. 
Well, guess what? This week, I'm all, that account, my account, is almost at triple its value <laughs> on shorting the dollar. Now, remember, folks, all of you were saying, oh, inflation's bullish for the dollar and they're going to raise interest rates. I mean, I had people really arguing with me. Maybe not so much here uh, in the comments, but I had people sending me emails. I had, I had people who were trial subscribers, thinking they knew a lot, sending me emails saying, you don't know what you're talking about, Norman. They're going to raise rates and the dollar's going to go through the roof. Nuh uh I've been saying since December 2015, when they first, when the Fed first changed course on interest rates, you got to sell the dollar. You got to get into a, a, a bullish inflation mode. That means buy gold. Gold was at 1045 bucks. It's at 1350 now. That's another thing. I had a guy a year and a half ago. He signed up for my letter. He saw my positions in gold, which were underwater at the time. He said, oh, Norman, God help you on that. That is such a loser. Who's the loser now? I had another guy, another guy who came on as a subscriber. And uh, I guess he wasn't happy. He went off. He started up some cockamamie uh, YouTube channel where all he did all day long on every one of his YouTubes was attack me and criticize me. We were short dollar yen at 115. It went up to like, I don't know, 115.70. He said, you got to stop yourself out. He told all his loser followers on his, yeah, on his YouTube site, Norman's crazy. He doesn't use stops. You got to stop yourself out. He stopped himself out. Because it went up to 118, woo, 115 to 118, woo. Where is it now? It's at 108. Okay, we're still short, Dolly Yen. We're still short. All right? 10 big points. He's like, oh no, this is MMT. He said, I'm the, I'm the expert on MMT, which was basically glorified technical analysis. It wasn't MMT. So, folks, you can get the real McCoy. Or you can, you know, kind of play with yourself. I had another guy yesterday or the day before he sends me an email. Mike, what should I do? I have this losing position because, I, I don't know, he, he was short the euro or something like that. Short, maybe it wasn't against the dollar, but he was short the euro against something else. I'm like, I looked him up. Uh, the guy had a trial subscription, which he canceled like a year and a half ago or something like that. Well, he canceled me. I never would have had you short the euro. He's like, I made a big mistake. I got off your, your uh, report and I went to some cheapo report that uses stops because I wanted stops. And you know what happened to me? I got destroyed using stops. I got destroyed using stop. I wish I would have stuck with your report. He's asking me for advice. What should I do with my short euro? What, I just hand out freebies? Come on, I give a lot of freebies on here, but come on. Folks, you can play with yourself. Or, seriously now, you can deem yourself worthy. You could deem yourself as a person who deserves good things, as a person who wants knowledge and understanding, as a person who values himself, as a person who sees an investment in yourself as something good or you could play with yourself you could play with yourself and say i get the same information for five percent yeah okay pal okay right no you don't i'm sorry you do not you do not none of you do only my people do we are navy seals we are seal team six you hand us your money we crush you. You give us your money. We don't even, I, you know, we don't work. I don't work. I sit here. I don't even look at the market, really. I mean, I'm sending out emails many times during the day to people who subscribe. But I mean, the money just comes in without even a, without even a thought. Without even a thought. You don't understand how easy it is. I've said it before. It's so easy that it should be illegal. But it's totally legal. Um... We're playing with, you know, if you imagine yourself, and I've given the poker analogy before, if you imagine yourself at a poker game where you literally see the hand of every single player at that table, if you don't win every single time, I don't know what's wrong with you. 
We see the hand of every single, and that includes central banks. That includes policymakers. That includes people like Trump who say things who don't have a clue about what he's talking about. And yes, I did vote for him, but I'm very disappointed about the outcome. So folks, there you have it. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of big opportunities, okay? Remember, we had the tax uh, reform bill, the tax cuts. We want to see how that's trickling in. Uh, a lot of big opportunities this year. A lot of big opportunities this year. You got a new uh, Fed chairman who's coming in, Powell. A lot of stuff going on, folks. A lot of stuff. Now, 99.999, 100% of you, and I use the term, I, use, I always say 100% because we are in such a minority. You might as well just round it off to 100. 100% of you are going to get it wrong. And the ones who get it right will be by pure guessing. You will not know really what you are doing. You may think you know what you're doing, but you're guessing, which means that over time you're going to give all that money back and then some. And where is it going to flow to? It's going to flow to us. By, by sheer mathematics, it flows to us. You lose, we win. We take your money. That's it. All right, everybody. I love my crew. They're fantastic. We're Navy SEALs. The rest of you, have fun playing with yourself. Bye.